Hi, welcome back to the channel and this short series where I take a look at cars which if you really want real life cars they don't quite work in your garage. A few days ago I did the Ocelot F620 which is a Maserati Gran Turismo wrapped up in more of the shape of a Jaguar XK and we know what happened to that. Now it's the Rapid GT Classic and uh, done up here to look a little bit like Letty's Resto Mod Jensen Interceptor from Fast and Furious 6. I've even done my character as Letty to try and carry off the impression. But the impression doesn't work. The trouble is, whenever I do the car up to look like an Aston Martin V8, all I can see is the Jensen Interceptor parts. And when I do it up as a Jensen Interceptor, all I can see is the Aston Martin V8 parts. Well, I guess this lady does not agree with me. So it sounds great, it's pretty quick and it's somewhat tail heavy, I think that's what we've learnt there. Let's take a slightly deeper dive into what it is I don't like about this car then. Now if we have a look at the pictures you can see that the grille and the lights are very much like the Jensen Interceptor on the top right. If you look at the area below the sort of front splitter area you'll see it's more like the Aston Martin on the top left. Have a look at the front wheel arches and those little grills behind them and they are absolutely 100% Jensen, one of the most recognisable parts of the car I'd say. The bonnet also looks pretty much like the Jensen. Moving back, they're Aston Martin mirrors. The doors are more like the Interceptor and those rear side windows are certainly more like the Aston Martin. Moving around to the rear of the car, well, the rear wheel arches are very much Jensen again. It's that square shape versus the round of the Aston that makes the car so recognisable. The rear, with a little kicked up piece, is absolutely Aston Martin. There's no sign of that great big round window for interceptors, which, if you're lucky enough to have a real one of those cars, costs over a thousand quid to replace. I have been keeping this in my arcade which is a dark garage I don't enjoy using it's the only one I don't have for display purposes it's the overflow garage taking a long hard look it's worth quite a lot of money and it looks really nice but what will I ultimately do with the car I think you can guess what's going to happen I have at least one car left to do in this series, so please let me know. Do you prefer the short video like the first one where I give a quick rant and dispose of the car? Or a more reasoned one like this with all of the photographs and stuff before the inevitable happens to the car? Also, do you have one of these cars? Are you like, oh, Rhett said, just shut up. It's a gorgeous piece of old British coupe and there's no way I'm getting rid of it. Or do you agree with me? Let me know down below. Whatever. Thank you so much for watching.